Well, welcome everyone to this week's photo editing tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to replace skies with a program called Luminar AI. Okay, so to start this off, I got Luminar open and I'm in the edit tab. I got my picture selected that I want to do this for. Uh, so under creative here, we have the sky AI feature. So I'm going to click that and then try to find a good sky. I think sunset four is what I'd liked. And there we'll notice it did a pretty good job of just automatically putting it in. The only thing though is you'll see this line right here, there's something not going quite right. So I'm going to move the horizon position over here and bring it down just a little bit. That was too much. Let's try just negative one looks like it fixes it. Uh, okay, yeah, negative one's what we're going to go with. So there we go, we've got our sky in place. Uh, so we have this horizon blending. If you notice the sun's not as sharp there, it's kind of bleeding in my original sky. And if we come all the way to this side, it's going to be super crisp and sharp and just the sky we brought in. But I don't want it to be completely crisp, so I think I'm going to go with maybe a 20. That should make everything go good. And then we have this relight scene. If we come down to this side, it'll do nothing. And all the way up here, it'll recolor the photo to kind of match the sky. Uh, I think I'm going to pull it down just a little bit to about 90 there. And then we have the Sky Global. Uh, as you'll notice, there's not a vignette up here. It's kind of matching the sky to the photo, it looks like. Uh, so if I come all the way to this side, it's kind of getting my vignette back in. And so it's kind of matching. Uh, again, I think I'm probably only going to take that to 90. Uh, there are some advanced settings if you feel like it. Uh, if things don't work out, like if you need to defocus your sky, you can do that and get it all blurry and out of focus. There's a bunch of stuff here to make your sky actually match with your photo. So if you need to use any of this stuff, uh, by all means, feel free to. It is there to be used. Uh, but yeah, that is quick and simple how to replace a sky with Luminar AI. Uh, but I'm also going to show you a couple other examples just to show you how it works. Uh, so I've got a picture of a bird here, and let's try blue sky five. And there, as you'll notice, it just did it, got the bird nice. Maybe not necessarily the best sky to have used for this photo, but you know, point being, it does a pretty good job of just swapping it out. And again, we're going to show one with a whole bunch of foliage just to show how this works. Uh, let's try Dramatic Sky 3. And there we go. As you'll notice, it did a really good job. On this one, I would probably want to relight the scene a little bit, but you know, that's how it's done. So that is probably going to wrap up this tutorial on how to replace skies. Uh, hopefully you found this useful and are going to have some fun creatively with this in your projects. Uh, so with that, go out, either shoot some good photography, edit some good photos, but either way, hit those like and subscribe buttons and hopefully I will see you later. Mm -hmm.